ครับ Something that I noticed when I started as a difference between, in my case, Holland and, and, and England, um, was when the players were like 10, 11, 12, 13 years old, the clubs in our area were rejecting players. Players that show up at 10, 11, they want to play football, they look at them, they go, you're not good enough, you're not getting in my team. These are not top teams, these are grassroots teams that are just selecting from the area. They would never be good at 14 if nobody gives them a chance to play at 10. Completely agree. No, completely agree. When I was 20 and 21 and, and became the coach of the, of the U10, and next year I took the team to, to, the, to the next age, U11, and uh, I don't know what he was in the club, asked me how many new players you want, uh, do you need? I said, no, no one, I don't need, I, I go with the whole team. And, and, and they said, no, no, we don't do it like this. Look in the, in the regional teams where you can get the best players for our club and so on. I, I don't, I'm not interested. I don't have to look. They, they are good, but they have to develop. And they, nobody understood this. You have to know the decisions about this are really often made by people they don't care. They don't care about the individual. It's only about quality. So to fight for this, to having time, that's really um, a thing I often think about. How would you move um, or, or transition from sort of grassroots into uh, making players more competitive, especially when you're playing in a, in a more competitive league? Maybe go a step back and think about when we played football only with friends. Yeah. We want to beat them, yeah. of course. We were best friends before the game, after the game, and maybe a few hard words during the game, but, uh, yeah. but you want to win, that's easy. So to take this part of the game and try to to let it grow a little bit, that's, that's allowed. It's like school. The boys don't like in school um, start mathematics or reading or writing and things like this, but at the end, these are the only things we really need. You take these things and we have to give them the basics. We have to give them the basics. For example, you have a player in your team with a long throw in. Help him to, to, to throw it from here to Manchester. So why not? It, it's a good stuff. You can play with this at Leicester or somewhere else. Christian Fuchs, he throw the ball. I can't believe how long. So, for example, one strength, go. And around this, give him a few tools to, to be better in the game. It's all about confidence. But how can we develop? How can we help them to get confident for football and for life? Because it's really hard. The hard situation in school, free choice. No, no. And you are the last one who is picked. That's not a good moment. So and you help them not to be the last one, but the second last one or whatever. That's all what, what, what happens. But in the end, all is a competition. And to be prepared for this is not too bad. And if it's in football, it's easier to learn. I get an hour a week with my players and that's, and that's it. And then turn up Sunday morning, I've got to pick a team and get them to play football. How do you maximise that hour? It's one hour a week. You have one hour. Yeah. That's really not too much. <laughs> it's a little bit more than we have, but uh, not too much. <laughs> In this case, at one hour then, it's, I would say, with one hour training and the game, it's not the biggest ambitious behind, right? It's fun. It should be fun. Yeah, it's not allowed that you say, we have one hour training in a week, and the weekend you have to win. So if they play football, if you know this, in their, in their free time, if they play at school, if they play after school, whenever, and you can some diff do some different things. But if they don't play football, then you have only to play football. Because then it's only fun. Let them play football and watch what they are doing and help them with the small things. One of the things that I find difficult is with the under 15s, they had set positions. I play this position, mm. I play this. But I see them playing different positions. Trying to coax them into playing another position, I get more out of them. They don't like it. But as I'm getting younger, nobody wants to be defenders, nobody wants to be a goalkeeper, nobody, they all want to be strikers. And similar problems in an in, in older age. It's, um, when I came here, a few young players they, I heard about, they said I never again will play this position. I saw it's his best position, then he has to play there or go. It's very easy because it's, it, it, it's we, we, in a professional um, circumstance, you, you don't have time to waste. You have to, do you want? Yes? No? Please. Try somewhere else. That's how it is. It's a big part of the job to help them um, deciding about position. The striker you see immediately, if he really is greedy in the right situation, if he really tried to become in front of the opponent, if he tries to do this, but at the end it could be offensive midfield, whatever. Development and, and education is 
knowing about more about it than one position. You were from Holland, so Holland a few, uh, I don't know, 15, 20 years ago, it was a big football school, deserved. Yeah. It was really great player, small country, unbelievable players came from there. But in my opinion, made one mistake. They had a fixed system and they, they, they to get the players on one position. We are more experienced. We think more about the game, so we should give them advice, help them. That's what they really need. And we have to train them, of course, but usually, especially in the youth, if they don't make sport, around your one-hour football training, you have no chance to make them fit. If they do sports around, you don't have to care too much. So then again, you can do different things. So that's what you have to know. Make a list, let them write. If you want, give them examples, give them role models. Other players did like that. If maybe Jamie Wardy, whoever, played non-league, now he's there. It's not because he started playing football when he was 24. No, he played all his life. But a few things came a little bit later. No, no problem. Now is there where you want to be? Everything, everything is okay. But for this, you have to do as a young lad. You have to do really more. That's always more than your friend. If they want to do this, you cannot change. If they can do, stop doing this and go out and play football wherever they can, wherever there's possibility to. Then it's your job to try to help them to find a way for this.